Okay, so we're starting candle work. Uh, we've done quite a bit of trot work, but uh, I opted to delete part of that since it was like watching the grass grow. Uh, pretty cool exercise she introduced me to. Um, so here we're just establishing our canter tempo and we break the circle into four quarters and we start counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so the goal was when we, at the current canter, whatever many strides we had in one quarter was to have that many in each quarter. Then you're going to see some change where she asked me to have less strides. Can I get eight or nine strides in each quarter consecutively? And then we do the opposite. Can we get 11 or 12 strides per quarter consecutively? Um, having adjustability within the gate. Uh, right there you can see I give a little half halt, obviously working, getting ready to do more of a collected canter. And I was too aggressive with my aid, so you can see here we've got a more collected canter. Uh, so, um, and then you're, once you start to get up the levels a little bit, you have a, first you start out with lengthenings, and then you go to medium, and, and then you go to extended, and you're not going faster, as in miles per hour, you need to be just simply covering more ground because the horse has even more spring and power and length of stride. But they have to be able to go from a medium or extended canter into a collected canter in about three strides. So that's what we're working on here is just having adjustability within the gate. And he responded nicely. Uh, a little break here. And I believe we're going to pick up the canner. I think we're going to change direction. can't remember where we're at here. I'll just try to keep him round here. Picked up the canner. I think we're going to do a lead change here. Yeah. Slow motion lead change. Uh, that had a. It was clean. There was some resistance in that. I didn't write it properly. We're about to discuss that. I He was generous with his change, but I did not change his bend enough. He just understood the aid, but it could have been better afterwards. So we're going to work on this for a bit.
slow motion. Here I'm changing his bend and you see right there I was looking for a change and I didn't get it. And after it again, this is what we call cross firing. He changed in the front, not behind. He's going to correct himself and be in a counter canner. You know, he's in a counter canner. We go back to the trot. And the walk. And you can see when I asked, um, but I really got a result one stride later. And he just picked himself up from behind a little too much, and he's probably going to do that again here. Yeah, gets a little anticipating, but both those last changes were clean. Here we're letting him stretch, 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 stretch. Really stretch his neck down at the canter. This is really good for his back. Okay, so uh, we've been working on the half pass. Here we are doing a half pass to the right. Needs to be wrapped around my right leg, my outside leg. Is encouraging him to step over, but I have to maintain my inside leg for him to wrap around. It's natural when you're doing this movement in the beginning is to remove your inside leg but that leg has to be active also because that's what he's, it's like a pole. You, he needs to bend around that pole. Here we got a better alignment. He's barely swinging. We did a few steps of leg yield out to the right and half pass again to the left. And half pass to the right. Not enough hind in. It's being left behind. So we did a leg yield to the right. Half pass. Notice that from the half pass to the leg yield and back to the half pass, there was no change of bend simply a change of where the legs are going. Better. See a lot better crossing here. Much more fluid. Leg yield to the right. Half pass to the left. Tempo has been staying the same. Oftentimes in this movement in the beginning when you're training it's very hard for them they'll lose their miles per hour or they try and just run forward through the aids <clears throat> I've been through both many a times and you can see we're struggling a little bit here I'm trying to keep his head down keep him relaxed I'm getting a little greedy about the crossover so we've lost miles per hour maybe he'll canter He's trying to figure out, just did leg out to the right. Haunches in, kind of reestablish the idea of wrapping around my 
leg there and getting those hind legs. I really want to cross and step up in front of the other leg. I think we're going to be doing either a haunches in or a shoulder in. Let's see here. Doing a shoulder in, but we've got some outside distraction that I'm trying to ride through here. Making him stay focused, keeping his head down, staying on task. So he came back pretty quickly. And oh, getting greedy here, so I'm you can see he's getting a little resistant. You can see how much more flexion is in his joints. So he really needs to sit and spring forward. That's what we're going after. We want him to really spring up into a beautiful half pass. And here we're just kind of picked up the posting trot and just kind of let him get unstuck. Get the, some fluid mo movement again. Sometimes when you do a lot of um, lateral work, they start to get kind of stuck and you need to just go back to something a little simpler and reestablish free-flowing movement forward. So I think we're, yeah, setting up for a haunches in here. So the, you can see how his head's in the middle of his chest. 